Hello family, we thank the Lord for another day. We bless him for his continued protection over our lives. Today I want to pray concerning the low birth rate in Taiwan, that the Lord God himself would intervene as it is a matter of concern, I understand, even to the authorities or, or the government. But before I share with you my passage of scripture today, I just want to read some excerpts from an article on the Telegraph website published in um, 2022 in February, just to kind of give you uh, some perspective as to why I have chosen to pray concerning Taiwan's birth rate. The title is Taiwan's birth rate sings to alarming low as pampered pets replace babies. Analysts estimate the number of domestic pets have surpassed the number of children under the age of 15. There's a paragraph that says January brought the gloomy news that the population of the East Asian country had fallen for a second year in a row in 2021 to a level not seen since 2013. Statistics released by the Ministry of Interior show the population dropped by 185,922 from 2020 to 23 million, 375,000 um, thereabouts. While this can be explained in part by negative net emigration exacerbated by the pandemic, another significant factor was that the 183,732 deaths on the island far exceeded 153,820 births. The number of babies born was another worrying all-time law, reflecting a trend that appears to be irreversible and a source of much hand-wringing by the government as Taiwan hurtles towards super A status by 2025, meaning that one in five citizens will be aged over 65. It says Taiwan, alongside South Korea and Japan, has for years lingered at the bottom of the global fertility chart, ranking last in 2021 among 227 countries and regions recorded by the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency, with just 1.07 births per woman, far below the 2.1 needed to maintain its population. There's a paragraph that says, as young people struggle with low wages, unaffordable house prices and work pressures, that creates an unfriendly environment for families. A visible sign of the reluctance to have children is the stark rise in pet ownership. As I say, it's on the Telegraph, the, the Telegraph website. And so anyone who wants to um, read it can do so. But I hope that what I've shared with you gives some context as to why today I have chosen to pray concerning the birth rates in Taiwan. My passage of scripture before I pray is John 16 verse 21. When a woman is given birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. Father, we thank you for the privilege to lift up brothers and sisters in Taiwan before you. And we can call them brothers and sisters, whether they're people who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ or not, because we know that God, we're all descended from one man, Adam and Eve, whom you created at the very beginning. And your word makes us understand that when you created them, you gave them the command that they were to multiply, to replenish the earth. And so, Father, from the very onset of creation, giving birth has been part of your plan and it will never change. But we live in a world where, Lord, you've given us free will 
And as a result of free will, people have the choice to decide whether they want to have children or not. And so, Lord, reading about the low birth rates in, in Taiwan and knowing that some of it is not because people do not want to have children, but sometimes it is because of the economic pressures and, and the situation they find themselves economically, which in some way in, has become a deterrent for some people. But also to, to read that Father God keeping pets has surpassed Father God people giving birth. It's also another um, interesting phenomenon, Lord God, knowing that, Lord, if people can make time for pets, then I guess that in some way, for some of them, it may also indicate that if they could, or if certain conditions were right, that they would want to have children. And so, Lord, as we lift up the birth rate situation in Taiwan to you, knowing that the country itself is concerned, that if it continues on this path, that it would have an aged population. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that for everyone, O oh God, who desires to have a child and has been blessed with resources and different things that God they would need in order for them to be able to provide for their child, Lord God, I am just praying, God, that you bless them with the ability to do so, particularly if it is a case of God of where people are finding it difficult to conceive for whatever reason. You are the God who tells us in your word that children are reward from you. The fruit of the womb is, a, is, is your reward, Lord God. So for everyone in Taiwan desiring to have a child, Father God, and has all the conditions right, Father, except for the fact that maybe they may have an unexplained reason why they're not able to conceive or maybe a medical condition. We're asking that Jesus, you will visit those people and you will, oh God, turn around their situation so that God, they will be able to conceive a child and they'll be able to bring forth a child. Lord, knowing that Father God Almighty, you are the one who gives children. And so, Father God, though there may be some who perhaps have access to medical intervention, we know that medical intervention alone is not what gives children. So, Lord, in your mercy, visit those people, those individuals, and bless them, God, with the ability to have children. For those who are desiring children, but maybe think that their um, socioeconomic circumstance is such that they cannot provide or cater for a child, we're also praying that God, may you intervene, Father God, whether it's on a personal level, if it's a case where people just don't have the means because, Father, they do not have the financial resources, may you cause there to be an open opportunity, a divine turnaround, if it's a political or a policy issue, that would enable these people, Father God, to be able Father, to find themselves in, in, in situations, Lord God, where they're able to earn an income that would enable them, Father God, to feel confident that with that income that they will be able to provide for their children. Father, which are children they desire to have. Father God, for those who perhaps may need to retrain, Lord God, in order for them to be able to have income earning opportunities lord i pray that you will make those opportunities also available to them so that god their desire or their future dream to have families of their own will become a reality in the name of jesus lord i also pray that god where it is a situation where perhaps the government needs to change or introduce certain policies father that would make it attractive for people to want to have children. Father, may you give them the wisdom. May you show them the right strategies that they are to put in place. Father, the right policies that they are to put in place so that people will be willing to have children. Father, for hearing that there are people who would desire to, but feeling that work pressures is what is deterring them from doing so. Lord, I am therefore asking that if it means that certain working practices or policies around work, oh God Almighty, would be changed let it be so father so that this nation will be able to see that positive change that is desiring to see father god in the birth rate of the nation that god almighty 
as you bless them with children, Father, they will see, O oh God, a divine turnaround, Lord God Almighty. That is not just something that people want to see just because they want to see children, but because of God of the long term implications. If the birth rate keeps dropping, Father God, even from the level that it's at at the moment, Lord. So make a way, Father God, and just bless the people of Taiwan and divinely intervene so that God, the impossible, may become possible in the name of Jesus even as we have lifted up this to you, knowing that with you nothing shall be impossible. We thank you, Lord, that you've heard our prayer and you will do exceedingly, far abundantly, above what we've asked today, in Jesus' name. Amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse in John thirteen thirty four, A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. We're personalizing it by saying, I know God's new command to love one another. I love others just as the Christ Jesus has loved me. The Lord bless you and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow in Jesus name. Amen.